There are many ways to write a paragraph. We call these ways patterns. Patterns make paragraphs clear and interesting. What are these patterns? How are these patterns alike or different from each other? In this video, we will be talking about reading and writing skills, written text patterns alike and different, quarter one, module one. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to compare and contrast patterns of written text across disciplines. You will be learning narration, description, definition, exemplification, comparison and contrast, cause and effect, problem solution, and persuasion. Are you ready? Let's begin. Let us try task one, what I know. Read each statement and identify the answer from the given choices. Write the letter only. Your choices are Problem Solution Sensory image Paragraph Define Persuasion Exemplification Cause Number 1. It explores the five human senses, sight, sound, taste, touch, and smell. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is C. Sensory image. Number two, it is a series of related sentences that develop a central idea. What do you think is the correct answer? The correct answer is letter D. Paragraph. Number three, it serves as a remedy to an issue. What do you think is the correct answer? The correct answer is letter B, solution. Number four, you blank when you explain what a term means. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is letter E, define. Number 5. It expresses a dilemma or concerning issue. What do you think is the correct answer? The correct answer is letter A. Problem. Number 6. This explains why something happened or is happening. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is letter H. Cause. Number 7. This is useful when you want to clarify something. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is letter G. Exemplification. Number 8. It is a skill to convince others to follow a course of action. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is letter F. Persuasion. Let us study task 2, Pandemics, Past and Present. Read and examine the two paragraphs on the next slides. In what ways are they similar to each other? In what ways are they different? Write your answer on the diagram. What is COVID-19? Coronavirus or COVID-19 is an illness caused by a virus that can spread from person to person. The virus that causes COVID-19 is a new coronavirus that has spread throughout the world. Its symptoms can range from mild or no symptom to severe illness. COVID-19 is a serious global infectious disease with 6,194,887 cases and around 371,573 deaths worldwide as of end of May 2020. How does COVID-19 compare to the Spanish flu outbreak a century ago? Both were pandemics, the 1918-1919 flu and now COVID-19. They are zoonosis, meaning both probably originated in animals 
and then transferred to man. The bat was the primary reservoir for COVID-19, and birds are thought to be the reservoir for the flu of 1918 to 1919. The other thing is, clinically, the flu of 1918 to 1919 is a little bit like H1N1, and like H1N1, which came through here in 2009 to 2010, it primarily attacked young adults. That's different than what we are seeing today with COVID-19. Right, the differences on both sides and the similarities in the middle. We are referring to the two paragraphs we have just read earlier. On the left side is for the COVID-19, and on the right side is for the Spanish flu. Let's discuss paragraph. Paragraphs are often compared to building blocks that make up sections or parts of a text. A paragraph typically consists of three elements, a topic sentence, supporting sentences, and a concluding sentence. Let's discuss topic sentence. In the topic sentence, which is often the introductory sentence, the topic or focus of the paragraph is presented. The topic sentence serves as a focal point for grounding the content of the whole paragraph. By signaling to the reader what the paragraph deals with, the topic sentence will thus increase the readability of the text. Although it is possible for the topic sentence to appear anywhere in a paragraph, it usually appears at the beginning. Supporting sentences. The main part of the paragraph consists of supporting sentences. This is where the argument that explains and or proves the topic sentence is delivered. Concluding sentence. At the end of the paragraph is a concluding sentence or transition sentence, which sums up the arguments of the paragraph and may create a transition to the next paragraph. A transition provides the text with a smoother flow between paragraphs. There are many ways of developing a paragraph. Check the next slides. For the next slides, we'll be talking about the pattern of written text, its individual characteristics, some examples of signal words, and sample paragraphs. Let's begin, starting with narration. The narrative paragraph tells about one main incident or happening, story, experience, event, daily activity, and incident. The author brings the incident to life, so the reader shares the experience. It should be written in logical order. Narratives have five elements, plot, setting, character, conflict, and theme. It answers the questions, how did it happen? What is it all about? Here is a sample paragraph. This was my first visit to the international terminal of the airport, and nothing was familiar. I could not make sense of any of the signs. Where was the check-in counter? Where should I take my luggage? I had no idea where the immigration line was. I began to panic. What time was it? Where was my plane? I had to find help because I could not be late. Notice the paragraph and look at the signal words. Do you see any signal words that tell you it is a narration? Pause the video and find out. When you're ready, let's proceed. Description Its details explain the main idea by providing a mental picture of situations, sensory images, objects, or surroundings. The details focus on sensory or physical data. It answers the question, what are its most important attributes or characteristics? What specific person, place, thing, or event is described? Here are some sample paragraphs. The Olympic symbol consists of five interlocking rings. The rings are colored black, blue, green, red, and yellow. The kitchen table is rectangular. It is made out of two-inch thick piece of oak. Its top is covered with a cloth pattern in dark red and blue squares against a white background. Do you notice any signal words from the paragraph that tell you it is a description? Pause the video and find out. When you're ready, Let's proceed to the next pattern.
Next is definition. It is also called statement and clarification. A word or concept is introduced, then explained or described. It answers the question, what is it? Here are some samples. A solar eclipse is an astronomical event during which the moon seems to cover the sun. Repression is the mind's power to block fearful thoughts, impulses, and memories. For example, a person may repress or forget painful childhood memories. Do you notice any signal words that tell you the sample paragraphs are definition? Pause the video and look at the signal words. If you're ready, let's proceed to the next pattern. Comparison this is organized to emphasize the similarities and or difference between two or more items or topics. Specifically, comparison means what things have in common, how items or concepts are alike, and the similarities between elements or ideas. It answers the question, in what ways are they the same? Here is an example. There are similar safety features on all the cars in the showroom. Pause the video and look at the sample. Do you see any signal words that tell you this is a comparison? Good. Let's proceed to contrast. Contrast means the difference between items or concepts, how things are not alike, distinction between elements or ideas. It answers the question, in what ways are they different? Here's an example. Community service activities develop social and emotional skills of students while academic classes develop intellectual skills. Do you see any signal words that tell you the example is a contrast? Pause the video and find out. If you're ready, proceed to the next pattern. Comparison and contrast. This is organized to emphasize the similarities and or differences between two or more items or topics. It combines the characteristics of both comparison and contrast. Here is an example. Mary, like her sister, has brown hair. However, the two differ when it comes to eye color. Notice any signal words? Next, exemplification. This is to illustrate by means of giving more specific examples. Detailed and well-chosen examples add interest, liveliness, and power to your writing. It answers the question, what are some examples? Here are some examples. Most people have special places where they go to relax and find inspiration. For example, my most relaxing and inspirational place to be is at Riceville Bridge. Many college students face a number of pressures. For instance, many students have to manage a job while at the same time balancing their schoolwork. Do you see any signal words that tell you these examples are samples of exemplification? Great! Next pattern is cause and effect. This describes or discusses an event or action that is caused by another event or action. There may be a single cause and effect or several causes with several effects. It answers the questions, why did this happen? What were the results of a particular event? Here are some examples. Public schools should require students to wear uniforms because they save parents money. They emphasize fashion and create school spirit. The large movement of people from rural to urban areas has major effects on a city's ability to provide housing, employment, and adequate sanitation services. Notice any signal words that tell you it is a cause or effect? Good. Next pattern is problem and solution. Problem and solution is a pattern of organization where information in a passage is expressed as a dilemma or concerning issue, a problem, and something that was, can be, or should be done to remedy this issue, solution or attempted solution. It answers the questions, what is the issue? How was it resolved or how will it be resolved? Here is an example. It seems like there has been a surge in teen pregnancies these days. Teen pregnancies make it very difficult for young mothers to pursue their dreams and meet the demands of an infant. Fortunately, most teen pregnancies can be easily prevented by using birth control. However, even birth control is not 100% effective. 
the most effective way to prevent teen pregnancies is abstinence, which is 100% effective. Notice any signal words to tell you this example is problem and solution? Okay. Next pattern is persuasion. This is used to convince someone that your opinion on a subject is the right one. There are many forms of persuasion. You might not even know that you are being persuaded. For example, advertisements are persuading you to buy a certain product or your family is always trying to convince you to do something or that they are always right. It answers the question, what is your point? Here is an example. It is about time everyone wake up and work as a single cohesive unit against pollution. Being aware of its bad effects has to be more than enough to work on pollution reduction. Planting more and more green plants is a very good option to bring back the resource use equilibrium. No matter what the governments do, the main action should come from the people. This is the only way to stop the spread of pollution from destroying our home. Notice any signal words that tell you it is a persuasion? Great! Let us practice. Task 3. What's the pattern? Read and analyze the following examples of written text. Answer the questions along with each pattern. For narration, I'll never forget the time I got lost in La Paz City. I was traveling with my parents during summer vacation. We were in a department store and I was so excited to see such a huge place. Suddenly, I turned around to ask my mom something but she was gone. I began crying and screaming at the top of my lungs. A sales clerk came up to me and asked if I was okay. She got on the public address PA system and notified the customer that a little boy with blue jeans and a red cap was lost. Two minutes later, my mom and dad came running toward me. We all cried and hugged each other. I'll never forget the day as long as I live. Here are your questions. What is it all about? How is it written? And what makes it an example of narration? Pause the video and answer it on your answer sheet. Description Who in the right mind would ever turn down a freshly cooked banana queue? It is a delicious banana deep fried and coated with caramelized brown sugar. Oh gosh, this is a Filipino comfort food at its best. There are a few things as satisfying as sinking your teeth into a really well-made banana queue, which for me means starting with a plump, busok banana that is semi-ripe. There seems to be a surplus of bananas at the moment. The end of the hot summer and two months of rain usually result in their bounty unless some typhoons mess with the trees. Your questions are What is being described? What sensory image were used to describe the banana queue? And describe your experience of eating a banana queue. Comparison and Contrast before the advent of computers and modern technology, people communicating over long distances use traditional means such as letters and telephone. Nowadays, we have a vast array of communication tools which can complete this task, ranging from email to instant messaging and video calls. One similarity between current and previous methods of communication relates to the form of communication. In the past, both written forms such as letters were frequently used in addition to oral forms such as telephone calls. In the same way, people nowadays use both of these forms, just as in the past, written forms of communication are prevalent, for example, via email and text messaging. In addition, oral forms are still used, including the telephone, mobile phone, and voice messages via instant messaging services. For your questions, what are being compared? What signal words are used to show comparison? In your own opinion, what are the differences between the methods of communication used today with those which were used in the past? Pause the video and answer it. When you're ready, let's proceed. Definition 
Cholera is an intestinal infection that can be described according to its cause, symptoms, and treatment. Cholera is caused by a bacterium called Vibrio cholera. Contaminated food, water, or feces can result in the rapid spread of this disease. Patients who have been exposed to the disease may exhibit mild to extreme symptoms. The primary signs are watery diarrhea and loss of water and salts. Other symptoms include the clammy skin, wrinkled hands and feet, sunken eyes, and a dry mouth. For your questions, what concept is introduced? How is cholera defined? And what idea would you like to add about cholera? Pause the video and answer it. If you're ready, let's proceed. Problem and Solution When a river receives a lot of extra water, it may flood. During a flood, there is plenty of water, and most people wouldn't think that dehydration was a serious risk. But flood water are mostly polluted and not safe to drink. People who drink the contaminated water may suffer from illnesses or diseases such as typhoid. You can prepare for flooding by filling many containers with fresh, clean drinking water. You can also use sandbags to protect your house and to soak up the water. Be prepared and be safe. For your questions, what is the problem or issue? How should one deal about it? And what other possible solutions can you suggest? Pause the video and answer it. If you're ready, let's proceed. Cause and effect. The lack of rain has horrible effects on farmers. With no rain, their land dries up. As a result, it is very difficult to grow anything. When the crops fail, the farmers haven't any choice but to get a second job in order to make money they need. Farming is a full-time job and with a second job, farmers are overworked, stressed, and even depressed. Thus, many farmers end up selling their land. As a farmer's daughter, I have experienced some good times and some bad times. I have gained a great respect for farmers everywhere. For your questions. What are the effects of lack of rain on farmers? What signal words were used to show cause and effect? And do you have great respect for our farmers? Why or why not? Pause the video and answer it. If you're ready, let's proceed. Exemplification. Many college students face a number of pressures. For instance, many students have to manage a job while at the same time balancing their schoolwork. This can be very stressful for a college student. Students also face many financial pressures. For example, numerous students have to pay for their college on their own. This gives them no other alternative but to take out student loans which could have them in debt for many years. Another example of financial pressures for students is having to support a family while attending college. Supporting a family while attending college can be extremely difficult. Finally, many college students go to college in different cities and have to make new friends and adjust to a different atmosphere. Being a college student can be very rewarding, but there may also be a lot of pressure that needs to be dealt with. What are the specific examples indicated in the text? What are your clues that this is an example of an exemplification? And what are some pressures that you are facing right now? Answer the questions by pausing the video. If you're ready, let's proceed. Persuasion School uniforms and why students wear them have been a topic of concern and debate for as long as these clothes have been around. Though people who argue that wearing uniforms in educational institutions make people appear all equal, give a sense of community, and teach discipline, I believe there are more disadvantages to wearing uniforms than advantages. Namely, demanding students to adorn uniforms takes away freedom. They are often uncomfortable. They are a waste of money. They promote conformity over individuality. And children's self-image is damaged more when they wear uniforms at school. Question. What is the stand of the writer on wearing school uniforms? How did the writer convince the readers and do you agree with the writer? Why or why not? Question. 
Great job! You've done well! Let us practice more. Refer to your modules and answer it on your own. Things you need to remember. When you write narrative paragraphs, use clue words and phrases to help tell things in sequence. The sentences in a narrative paragraph should move the reader along smoothly from action to action. Clue words signal time order. They can help smooth out a narrative paragraph by signaling when one action ends and another begins. Here are sample clue words for narration. Notice the clue words in the paragraph below. On Sunday mornings after Mass, father and son would go crunching up the gravel road to the house on the hill. The judge's wife invariably offered them beer, which Don Julian enjoyed and Alfredo did not. After half an hour or so, the chessboard would be brought out, then Alfredo and Julia Salas would go out to the porch to chat. She sat in the low hummock and he is in a rocking chair, and the hours, warm, quiet March hours, sped by. With this is an excerpt from The Dead Stars by Paz Marquez Benitez. For narration, you need to answer task 4, What a Day, and task 5, Hush, Little Baby. Description a description paragraph is focused and detailed rich account of how something looks, sounds, smells, tastes, or feels. One should provide specific details of the most important features and use appropriate adjectives to describe attributes and qualities. Topic sentence identifies the subject to be described. You need to answer task 6, a place to behold, and task 7, go into details. A definition paragraph is a paragraph explaining a term or subject so your audience comprehends the topic of the paragraph. This can be done in three ways, synonym, class, and negation. Synonym is explaining the term by using the words that mean the same thing. An example would be, to procrastinate is to slack. Class is when you put your topic in a larger category to explain your term. For example, a pineapple is a tropical fruit that has an acidic and sweet taste. While negation means that the writer first says something it is not and then says what it is. A racist is not someone that accepts another person for who they are, but rather prejudges them based on their appearance or their skin color. For definition, you need to answer task 8, defining moment, and task 9, I mean it. An exemplification paragraph develops a general statement and expounds it through one or more specific examples. These examples illustrate and explain the topic sentence, making one's writing more interesting and more convincing. For exemplification, you need to answer task 10. For example, there are two ways to organize a compare and contrast paragraph, point-by-point -point arrangement and block arrangement. Point-by-point -point arrangement, choose one feature or point at a time and discuss both items in the same paragraph. For example, cars versus motorcycles. First point, safety. Compare and contrast how safe each vehicle is. Second point, fuel efficiency. Compare and contrast the fuel efficiency of each vehicle. And third point, style. Compare and contrast how stylish each vehicle is. Here is an example in diagram. Block arrangement. Discuss all the features about one subject and then move on to the second subject. A third body paragraph compares and contrasts the two subjects. Example, cars versus motorcycles. First subject, cars. Discuss all the features of cars, safety, fuel efficiency and style. Second subject, motorcycles. Discuss all the features of motorcycles, safety, fuel efficiency and style. Compare and contrast. 
discuss how cars and motorcycles are alike and different. Here is an example in diagram format. Answer task 11, waves versus quakes. Cause and effect paragraph shows a relationship between events or actions, in which one is the result of the other or others. This is a combination of action and reaction. You need to answer task 12, log into Facebook, and task 13, cause and effect diagram. There are three main parts in a problem solution paragraph. The topic sentence introduces the solution to a problem. The body elaborates the problem and explains the solution. And the concluding sentence calls the reader to action. You need to answer task 14, exam woes no more, and task 15, the best solution. Persuasive paragraph aims to convince, motivate, or move readers forward to a certain point of view or opinion. It indicates the position of the writer, the argument, as well as the evidence supporting each argument. Persuasive words and phrases are used to develop this paragraph. These include, for this reason, because, I believe, as evidence show, etc. You need to answer task 16, convince me and task 17, my commercial script. Let us remember to recap what you have learned. The ways of writing a paragraph is called written text patterns. We have narration, which tells a story and shows sequence of events. Description, gives details and creates a picture. Definition, clarifies meaning and gives background. Compare and contrast show similarities and differences. Exemplification gives specific instances, clarifies a point or concept. Cause and effect describes or discusses an event, action that is caused by another event or action. Problem and solution presents an unsatisfactory situation in ways to deal with it. And persuasion convinces someone to do something. Let us assess task 18, dig deeper, Read each item carefully. Choose the letter of your answer. Which following statements is true about definition and exemplification? A. Both present and list examples. B. Both use the same signal words. And C. Both show or explain an idea or point. The correct answer is... Letter C. Both show or explain an idea or point. Number two, which of the following is a similarity between narration and description? A. Both include action. B. Both use specific details. And C. Both follow a logical order. The correct answer is... Letter B. Both use specific details. Number three, in which aspect do narration and persuasion differ the most? A, purpose and style. B, signals and transitions. C, organization and structure. The correct answer is A, purpose and style. Number four, which two patterns are helpful when you're persuading? A, narration and definition. B, Persuasion and Problem in Solution and C. Persuasion and Definition The correct answer is B. Persuasion and Problem and Solution Number 5. Description is commonly used in literary analysis while blank is commonly used in science. A. Narration B. Definition C. Comparison and Contrast the correct answer is B. Definition Let us assess task 18b. Dig deeper. Read each paragraph and fill in the blanks with the pattern used to develop it. Number 1. As Maria hurriedly left for church last Easter, she threw a 1,000 bill in the trash can thinking she was discarding a wad of tissue. 
You can imagine her surprise when the garbage man rang our doorbell that Monday morning and handed her the bill. The honesty of the city's garbage man has restored Maria's faith in mankind. What is the written text pattern used? Number 2. After Mary Jane's birthday party, this place was a mess. Unclaimed jackets and sticky hair ribbons were among the rubble everywhere. Broken balloons and crackled balls of planes were jammed in with ripped envelopes among birthday cards on the shelves. All over the sofa were large smudges of whipped frosting. The clutter of peanut shells and shreds of holy bobby wrappings crackled as they stepped towards the door. What is the written text pattern used? Task C. Analyze the similarities and differences between the two paragraphs earlier. Write a compare and contrast paragraph about it. Refer to the rubrics on the next slide. This is your rubric. Let us enhance task 19. Welcome to written text legends. Select two characters with their corresponding patterns of written text. Using the graphic organizer on the next page, give the similarities and differences between the two patterns. Narration Description Comparison and contrast Cause and effect Definition Exemplification Problem and solution And persuasion Choose two characters, write the differences on the left side and on the right side, and write the similarities in the middle. Let us reflect. Task 20. I thought, I learned. Reflect on what you have learned after taking up this module by completing the charts on the next slide. First question. What were your thoughts or ideas about patterns of written text prior to the discussion of the lesson? You can start answering by starting your sentence with, I thought that. Second question, what new or additional ideas did you learn after taking up this lesson? You can start your answer with the line, I learned that. And we're done. Thank you for watching. Have a great day ahead.